we move to the next part of our construction wherein we will be drawing a acute angle triangle and we will be drawing the perpendicular bisectors for all the sides of that particular triangle so first i'll make an acute angle triangle as i it already explained to you the acute angle triangle is less than 90 degrees all the angles are less than 90 degrees okay so i am drawing a triangle over here I'll give it a name. Let's call it as triangle X, Y, Z. All the angles are less than 90 degrees, so it is called as an acute angle triangle. Now we will draw perpendicular bisectors to each of these sides. I'll start with the base, which is side YZ. So the pointed part of the compass on point Y, and I draw my arc. One at the top and one at the bottom. Then I keep the pointed part on point Z and draw the arc here. One at the top and one at the bottom. So I have got my two X marks and then I will join those two points. Okay. So I am keeping my ruler, adjusting it in such a way that both those points are connected and I draw my first perpendicular bisector which is for side YZ. Now I am going to do the same thing for the side XY. Okay? So we will start by keeping our pointer on the pointed part on point X and we draw our arc. Okay? So I will draw my one arc. The board is very slippery. So one arc over here and one arc over here. Then I'll keep my pointed part on point Y and draw the two arcs. One arc here and one arc over here. Okay. I've got my two X marks and now I connect both these points together. So I adjust my ruler and connect both those points. Now the same thing has to be done on this side. So keeping my pointer on point X, one arc over here, one arc over here. Then on point Z, one up here and one arc over here. My arc does not connect, so I'll just make sure that the arcs are meeting. Okay. So I've got one X mark, I'll just rub this off. One X mark over here and one X mark over here. And we'll just connect both of them together. So here goes. Adjust my ruler and connect those marks. Now, after we have drawn the perpendicular bisectors for all the three sides, we see that these three perpendicular bisectors are all meeting each other in one single point. Okay, let's name it as point C. Right? So, this perpendicular bisector, this perpendicular bisector, and this perpendicular bisector. All the three are coming together and meeting each other in one single point. That point is called as the circle center of the triangle. So we will write down what we have drawn. First of all, we will draw that uh, point C is the circle center of triangle X, Y, Z and point C lies inside triangle X, Y, Z. Okay? So, this point which is 
the meeting point of all the three perpendicular bisectors. That point is called as the circumcenter. And where is it located? The position of the circumcenter. It is inside your triangle X, Y, Z. Okay. I want you to copy down this construction, and then you yourself will find out the circumcenter for an obtuse angle triangle and for a right angle triangle. So this is what you have to copy it down in your notebook. You can put a pause and copy it down. Any one of the day, I will ask you to send you the photo back. 